All right. So the first thing that you need to decide is how tall do you want your tree to be. I went with two and a half beams,、uh, just because I wanted it to be as close to the ceiling as I could possibly make it、uh, without it looking cramped.、Uh, so the next step is to choose where the next row of trees is going to be put, and then you choose. Uh, the small beam to put it to cl、uh, as close as you can make it towards the middle beam. So it's just a little tiny shelf for your first row. Doesn't need to be super perfect here. It's not going to be shown, but just as even as you can make it, depending on how uh, uh, much of a perfectionist you are. You see, I changed mine because <laughs> I'm a maniac.、Um, so. Here you can see you can、uh, hop up and try to put your next tree down. You kind of want it half in, half out, depending on how fluffy you want your tree to be. I、uh, I try to to do fifty fifty、uh, on the on the trees to make it look like as as it is one solid tree instead of.、Um, One a bunch of small ones put together. So I am checking how far down I need the first row of beams to be, and as you can see,、uh, I was not happy at first. So we will lower it a bit,、uh, going back and forth, checking where I want it.、Uh, as soon as you have your first row, and、uh, you can easily see. How far down every row is gonna be. So when you have your your um, preferred um, distance, I will go. I will probably go with here one and a half beam、uh, down, just to have an as、uh, as even transition between the rows as possible. And I will. Double check it here as well, as you can see. Now you just put down the trees that you want, and on the top you don't need more than three.、Uh, that is what I went with.、Uh, don't need to be super、um, exact on the back,、uh, but just so, so the top looks nice and even. Important to、uh, take a step back, checking how even it looks before you make your next roll. So you can see here, I am pretty happy with that. So you do that one,、uh, one and a half ish beam downwards, and、uh, one beam outwards. So the next. Um, square going around the mid beam、uh, is about yeah one beam out from the top the the one above you. So you get a good nice uh, transition uh, on the width of the tree as well. And when you are happy with that row, you put down another set of trees,、uh, spread evenly around. Don't need to be super,、um, super even、uh, towards the back. No one is gonna see that. Depending on how close you have it in the room towards the next、uh, wall.
and here we are on the last row putting down the last tree and then taking a step back to check on the shape depending on how close you have it to the back wall you might be able to see more or less of the back uh, but yeah take a step back check on it and move over to the last row which will be the one on the floor uh, put it around there spread it evenly for me it wasn't super important to cover the back but if you have a tree that are in the middle of a room uh, then obviously you do the the beams all around it in an even uh, square for me no one is gonna see the back so it wasn't super important so that is the tree and uh, I decided to um, include decorating the rest of this uh, so-called Christmas room. Uh, so uh, I will show you how I put down the presents here around. I started with the biggest one, which is the red one. And I evenly distribute them, uh, switching them around with uh, the angles around so that it looks um, nice and random. And then I started with the green ones, which is the middle size and uh, placed that around as well. And turning it around, uh, changing the angles um, to make it look uh, random and, and even. Happy with that. I decided to put down the white ones, which are the smaller size and put them a little bit on the floor, uh, some of them on top of the green, some on top of the red ones to fill up and make it look really nice. And uh, And I take a step back to check how I feel about the presents and I am pretty happy here so for that I am done uh, the next thing to do is to figure out what I want to let to the left and to the right and I went with a little tiny fireplace up in the uh, left corner and uh, little Christmas table to the right here I will show you guys how I filled up and <laughs> covered the back and um, which was completely unnecessary no one is gonna go behind there but just in case I uh, fixed that as well also as you can see here in the back I uh, reinforced in between the, the squares going towards the inner beam and on the lowest level uh, I put down a beam towards the floor to, um, to make it st uh, sturdier. And there we go, the complete Christmas tree is done, covered up the back, tied it up on the sides and make sure it's all even. And if you're not doing a Christmas room like I, um, then this is, your, uh, this is your Christmas tree. And here I'm starting on the little tiny fireplace that I wanted in the corner. And it's just uh, one of the little square floor uh, stone beds uh, with some fancy wood in the front. Uh, the little fire on top and then I added the pillars as a chimney or something that is going to look like a chimney up 
going downwards with a reinforced uh, small bit of uh, uh, wall to be the end bit of the chimney. And there we go, the fireplace is done. Pretty happy about it. I decided to hang some banners on the wall as well to make it look less bare. So two red banners, one to the left and one to the right. place down some uh, carpets I chose the wolf carpet because uh, how it looked more wintry or Christmassy uh, but you can do whatever both are beautiful two by the fireplace and one in the corner and then the last part is the table in the corner I chose this basic one uh, because it fits well in with the size of this room and I place it down and then the plan is to place some presents on top of that. And there we go uh, I think that is it I also placed an iron um, uh, torch in the corner as you can see close to the table and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with this I hope you guys got use of this information and can implement it in your own Vaheim homes thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to press the like and the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.